So anyway, uh, in raising and lowering this, now multiple times, everything seems to be good with the hydraulic cylinder. I don't see any leaks on here. And uh, that just means we have to do the actual welding fabrication mods on this. Now one of the other lessons I've learned in life is that um, anytime you look at a piece of old farm equipment and there's a system on it which was later replaced by a hydraulic system, for example on this disc, the way that you tilt this tongue up and down, and really it's more than the tilting of the tongue, you know, this end stays pretty much at the same level, so really the tongue goes like that or like that, and what it does is it controls how much weight, what percentage of weight and force is on that front gang, so uh, it controls how the disc pulls and uh, how aggressive it is in some cases. The way this is done now is with this goofy jankity spring type setup. I hate these things. I mean, there's no sugar coating it. I don't know if this is original. It's got all these holes drilled in it for some reason. It looked, that doesn't look factory. I hope that's not factory, but there's a threaded rod that runs through these springs. And the problem is that the threads have been torn off the rod at some point. And if you look at new versions of this disc, they still make this disc. These are great discs. This one's probably 30, 40 years old. You can go out and buy a brand new factory production one right now if you want to. On the new ones, they, uh, they've got this set up with like a horizontal hydraulic ram. I'm not gonna mess around with that, but what I am gonna do on mine is I took this cylinder, I bought this thing brand new, and we're gonna run this between this beam and then some point far out on the tongue here. So that way, when I move a lever up in the cab, it'll tilt this tongue up or down, thus controlling how the disc follows because it controls the balance of weight across the gangs. And uh, what's really nice about this is I'll be able to adjust it while I'm driving, and I'm really gonna enjoy cutting this piece of junk off of here. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. so you guys can hear me and check it out it is done and I'm really really happy with the way that this has turned out and lucky knows it's about time for a certain someone here to get fed so anyway yeah check it out I got this all in place I went through I uh, left a wrench on top of this and uh, and even touch up the paint here a little bit I'll just set that somewhere I'll never find it okay so yeah Basically, um, this overall went very well. I talked about the problem I had with the missing greaser here, and this went great. My biggest problem that I've had on everything today that is putting all this together 
is I came down here to where these pins are and there used to be these really questionable looking kind of like worn down old rusty cotter pins in these holes and I decided I didn't really trust this anymore. So I pulled these pins out, I greased them, I added washers. For some reason they didn't have washers, uh, you know, from the factory. And unfortunately I didn't have any one and a sixteenth. It's lucky I have to make a YouTube video. Okay. Unfortunately I didn't have any one and a sixteenth inch uh, washers. So I uh, stuck some, I think those were probably three quarter inch on the lathe and I bored them out a little bit. So I got all that together, I packed this with grease. These pins don't really see much movement. They only move like a tiny fraction of a turn every single time that this tongue is raised or lowered. Uh, we also have a trailer jack on here. Again, uh, I, there was a spot for one, but it didn't fit this. So I had to weld on the other fitting. So that's gonna be real nice for hooking this up and unhooking it. And of course, there's this giant hydraulic cylinder here. And um, so yeah, now this thing takes two sets of remotes. Uh, one thing I started doing with all my machinery, I've made it a practice anytime I replace a hose on something or I put a new hose on something that's new, is I wrap it in this nylon hydraulic hose wrap. This stuff is excellent, it's really durable. Uh, protects the hoses from abrasion and scraping on stuff. The main thing it does is, a lot of you guys know, the biggest killer of hydraulic hoses, especially on equipment that sits outside like this disc hero, is uh, what happens is that rubber coating on the outside of the hose breaks down from the weather, from the sun and everything, and then that exposes the steel braids on the inside of the hose, which then rust, and obviously when they rust, they degrade and lose their strength, and then the hose blows. So by wrapping these and this uh, nylon stuff, it should make them last pretty much indefinitely. And uh, yeah, really, really excited to try this out. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. That still works. All right, now obviously it's collapsed. The cylinder we just installed because it is full of air and there is no uh, hydraulic oil in it. So let's add some. Might be going the wrong way. Oh, it's moving. Oh. Yeah, look at that. More adjustment than I will ever need, but just because of the shape of this, uh, yeah, it's a little herky-jerky till that air is gone. Just because of the shape of this uh, and where the cylinder needed to go, I really didn't have any option other than to use a gigantic oversized cylinder. But look at that. That's a lot more adjustment than anyone will ever need. I need like a fifth of this. Oh, this is so much easier than that jankity spring setup. I hate that thing. I've hated that literally since the day I bought this disc. I took one look at it and I was like, yeah, it's gonna have to go. All right, one of these hoses is rubbing a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna grab another zip tie or two and take care of that. Man, this is excellent. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, another thing which is gonna be really nice is back when this had that jankity spring set up, anytime I'm cruising down the road and I'd stop the tractor, the disc would go like this and then I leave a stop sign and it like rocks back the other way and it's going like this as I'm trying to drive down the road. You feel it in the tractor, it's really annoying. But because this ram won't compress, uh, it'll basically be like pulling a trailer with a fixed tongue, you know, unless we lose hydraulic pressure somehow, but then we have bigger problems. So this should take care of that as well. And, uh, and I can just drive along and adjust this while I'm in the field. And I am really, really, really happy with how this turned out. Um, so yeah, what do you think, Lucky? Is it roof? Uh, Lucky, I uh, don't, ah. Uh. Okay, well, whatever, anyway. Disc is done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Have a nice night and uh, get out there and fix your own stuff instead of wishing you fix it every single time you use it.